Hey guys, Smash Guest here, I'm AG, and... PJ. And today we're going to be talking about the Gamatsu leak, and is it fake? Now, the big thing is that it starts all about the new trailer that came out on Monday. I'm not going to spoil it. Okay, I am. Um, well, pretty much <laughs> what happens is Lucina, Robin, and Captain Falcon have been announced, and... Now, these characters have led us to believe that somehow um, the Matsu leak is wrong and it could have just been um, different and the guy tipster could have been lying the entire time and he didn't know an actual thing. So PJ's going to start it off here. So basically, obviously, Robin being revealed and um, on the screen will probably show how Krom was laying on the ground. Uh, Krom was... I don't know, it looked damaged or something, I, I don't know, or hurt, that's the word, and, um, you know, we all thought, oh, boy, Krom's on the floor, he'll probably get up and fight Captain Falcon, right? But, uh, no, just Robin comes down and completely slashes, uh, Captain Falcon, and Krom is part of Robin's final smash, so... It, it makes sense because Robin was kind of recruited to come with uh, Krom and Awakening, and it makes also a lot of sense because Robin is the character that you play as in Awakening. And one last thing is that um, how you can play as the female character isn't just random, is because you can actually customize your gender and everything. So basically, we believe this leak to be incorrect, other than the Mega Man, Villager, and Wii Fit Trainer part. Because those three, unpredictable. I, well, Mega Man was kind of, well, not obvious, but Mega Man had a chance. And um, other than that, everyone could be predicted, um, except Chorus Men, which we'll get to that a bit later, but every single one makes sense. Pokemon from X, Pokemon X and Y was kind of obvious. Krom, he's deconfirmed. Palutena in Shulk, you never know. So, um, yeah. So, yeah, pretty much the Gamatsu leak is just the fact that we have all these characters like Shulk, um, then we have Krom, a Pokemon from, I think, was it X and Y? Yep. And then, yeah, basically, um, that's pretty, that's pretty Chorus easy Man. to predict. The Chorus Men... And then, that's pretty much it, it, including Palutena, sorry. Um, and then pretty much, the reason why we think it could be fake, which a lot of people have been debating, and we th everyone thinks that it's correct up till now, but the fact that Not it anymore. could have just been an educated guess, because yep. even we said it from the beginning, Palutena's already in. She has, like, so many leaks, which don't actually matter, but the fact that Sakurai's own character hasn't been in yet, and plus in Uprising, she was doing so much fighting and stuff, there was a lot going on, and it's Sakurai's character, of course it's gonna include Palutena. And you need another female, so, you know, that makes sense. Then, mm -hmm. um, you know, Shulk with Xenoblade, yep. um, of course, we're all thinking that, okay, everyone kind of wants him in, so technically, if they just throw his name in the Gamatsu League, everyone's happy, they're not going to judge it, they're going to be like, okay, that's cool, I really do hope he's in. Yeah, um, Shul Shulk has been a fan favorite, and after people actually read the Brawl credits, which a lot of people don't, because they obviously just want to keep playing and don't want to see the credits, so... Monolith Soft was actually in the credits, and if you guys don't know, Monolith Soft is the developer of Xenoblade Chronicles, and Xenoblade Chronicles came out in 2010. Yeah, and they're also, After like, famous Brawl. for other series. Um, yeah, definitely. They also, they, they helped develop Brawl, like, they, they were, yep. like, one of the co-developers and stuff, but they also create uh, other famous games like Project X Zone, Namco X Capcom, and other things, and they're first party to Nintendo. Yeah, they're first party yep. to Nintendo. So, um, then about the other characters, well, Krom, of course, uh, like PJ said, disproved because of Robin. Um, like, Lucina doesn't really disprove him, but the fact that he said he's not going to be in just says, okay, Gamatsu leaks wrong. He was just guessing, because if you think about it, everyone said that Krom's going to be in, because he's going to be in, yep. and then Robin's more of like a sidetrack just for the hardcore fans who... Uh, play Fire Emblem like a lot, they're gonna want him in too. Um, but it was mainly all Krom. And then, so just putting in fan favorites pretty much 
and then, like PJ said, Chorus Men was just thrown in there, because, think about it, okay, so we had a Game & Watch, Chorus Men is pretty much, would, would have been this game's so-called Game & Watch, because, like, they're, like, black and white, and they're, um, well, you can change the colors in Brawl, but, um, they're black and white, kind of 2D, and they don't have very good rep representative, um, in popular gaming culture, so, um, throwing him there is just being like, oh, okay, these guys know something that we never thought of, in reality, he's just saying a name that makes him sound legit, so, like, we don't know that it's true, and, of course, Chorus Men are our enemies and whatnot, and, in the, not them specifically, but Choir Men and, uh, from Rhythm Heaven and their stages be in, but, but just throwing their name in there is just like, okay, here, it's legit because we have an obscure character in it. And then, of course, the rest is all, like, makes sense. Pokemon from X and Y, like, there's nothing more blatant and obvious than that. Of course, there's gonna be another Pokemon in that's gonna have a Mega Evolution, so it's obviously gonna be another one. So, it, there was not even a question there, so the fact that he didn't state which one it was was kind of strange, and, like, everyone's been saying that. So... Do you have any final thoughts on the Gamatsu League or something? Well, I, I think it's fake, but here's one thing that makes me think the other way. Um, basically, Chorus Men. So, that, that was in the Gamatsu League, right? And then we figured out later that in the direct, I'm pretty sure, um, there was a Rhythm Heaven enemy shown in Smash Run, I, or it might have been a pick of the day, I forget guys, sorry. But, um, yeah, so there, there was a Rhythm Heaven enemy, and then it just kind of added up, and that's why I made that video, could the Chorus Men be in SSB4? Because that's the only link that we have, but, you know, if that was never found out, then no one would ever think that the Chorus Men would be in SSB4. And overall, yeah, I just so, think it's fake. Yeah, I, I think at this point, like, we had our doubts, but then at this trailer, kind of just proving it's wrong. So, it's really just a guy who's, um, has an, a good guess, a guesstimate, pretty much. And he's just really just saying characters that he thinks. He kind of is doing what we do, and just saying that he knows what he is. Which is kind of blatant and obvious, because, guys, there's not a single person in Nintendo that's gonna leak. They probably... They don't even work in Nintendo's building, they work in, in Namco's building. I, I'm pretty sure they probably have, like, a, 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 an oath that they have to swear to, that I will never release the character roster before the game is released. Because I'm or pretty features. sure people would pay... Yeah, because people would pay, like, millions or something. I don't know, not actually, but, you know, or like, may hypothetically. Maybe, maybe a couple thousand dollars. That's what yeah, I a guess. thousand for sure. Someone would definitely pay a thousand to know the entire roster. And the fact that he said all the other ones about E3, well, you know, he, he said that, but it's it's not like... He's saying characters like Pac-Man, of course he's going to be in the me, made sense, but then people like Villager, um, which if you didn't know, guys, anyone that Monolith Soft, any game that Monolith Soft develops pretty much, usually gets a game uh, character in for Smash. Villager got in... Um, and Molosov developed, um, New Leaf, New Leaf, uh, partially and whatnot, um, for the mm -hmm. 3DS, which was the game for Villager recently, um, and they also did other Legend of Zelda games like The Link to the Past and Skyward Sword, which, you know, getting in, like, a lot of other characters, like, you know, if we get Gearham or someone, so... They, and they develop Brawl, so, and they have Shulk, so Shulk's in pretty much, it, we're hoping, we're still hoping for that, so, you know, yeah. good guesstimate, the guy got proved wrong, the guy's just pretending to be like any person on NeoGAF, except for the people who know something, so, yeah, anyways guys, this is Smash Guy signing out, peace. Peace. Hey guys.